Doctors say this can remove microplastics from your body. I just made a video last week about how microplastics are everywhere and you've got them all in your body. So let's talk about how we can get them out. Imagine this, you're walking through the grocery store picking out what seems like healthy food. Maybe it's a fresh apple, bottled water, some wild caught salmon, but what if I told you you just bought a handful of plastic? Not just the packaging, but the food itself. Yeah, microplastics are literally inside us now. They're in our blood, our organs, even our brain. And the worst part, for the longest time, no one knew how to get them out. But today that might be changing because doctors and researchers believe they finally found a way to clean microplastics out of the human body. So stick with me, because I'm going to share exactly what they discovered and how you can start using it immediately. Oh, and spoiler alert, it doesn't involve swallowing magnets or bathing in seaweed. Although, when that make for a wild video? All right, quick recap in case you missed my last video. Microplastics are tiny plastic particles smaller than five millimeters that come from packaging, synthetic clothes, tire dust, and even our drinking water. They're everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Studies have found them in bottled water, breast milk, sea salt, fruit and vegetables, even in the placenta of unborn babies. It's like we're all living in some kind of plastic matrix and we didn't even take the red pill. And what does this mean for your health? Well, while the full long-term effects are still being studied, we already know microplastics can, number one, disrupt hormones, damage your gut lining, trigger chronic inflammation, and act like tiny sponges that carry toxic chemicals deeper into your cells. That's lovely, right? For years, the advice was basically, well, Try not to eat plastic, which let's be honest is like saying try not to breathe dust in a sandstorm. But here's where things get interesting. In 2024, a team of researchers from the Netherlands and South Korea published a paper in Environmental Science and Technology Letters. They were studying ways to remove microplastics from biological tissue and guess what they found? A combination of three things actually helped the body expel microplastics naturally. Imagine you have a splinter in your hand, right? It's a foreign body. Eventually your body pushes it out. Well, these researchers found a way to push these harmful microplastics out. So number one, certain strains of probiotics do it. Number two, dietary fiber, especially soluble fiber. And number three, antioxidant rich foods. So let's unpack this. Number one, probiotics. Your gut's microscopic army. Some strains of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium were shown to bind to microplastic particles and escort them out through, you guessed it, your poop. Yes, your gut bacteria might just be your cleanup crew. Number two, soluble fiber, the plastic trapper. Found in foods like chia seeds, oats, apples, and psyllium husks, soluble fiber forms a gel in your intestines. That gel acts like a net, trapping microplastics and pushing them out. It's like a detox conveyor belt, efficient, natural, no juice cleanse required. Number three, antioxidants, the cellular bodyguards. Microplastics cause oxidative stress. So researchers looked at compounds like quercetin, which is found in onions and apples, curcumin from turmeric, and EGCG from green tea, and found they help the body reduce inflammation and support the immune system while detoxing plastic. Oh, and here's something wild. In one animal study, rats exposed to microplastics and then given green tea extract showed significantly reduced plastic-related damage in their organs. Translation, green tea isn't just a zen morning drink, it's your liver's secret weapon. Now listen, I wasn't always a gut health guru like my friend Mark likes to say. Back in college, my diet was, well, let's say rough, instant ramen, gas station burritos, plastic water bottles, and if it wasn't microwaved in a plastic container, it didn't even count. Fast forward 10 years, I'm reading these studies, doing the research, and realizing my body was probably a microplastic playground. So I tried this detox approach for 30 days, high fiber breakfast with chia and oats, fermented foods daily, hello kimchi and kefir, swapped coffee for matcha in the mornings, loaded my meals with turmeric berries and leafy greens, and added a probiotic supplement with strains proven to bind plastics. By week two, I felt different. More energy, less bloating, better skin, and this weird sense that my body just felt lighter. I even pooped out a solid plastic egg on Easter morning. No, that didn't happen. Maybe me feeling so good was placebo for all I know, but I'll take it. I was feeling good. 
Science is still catching up, but I'm telling you, something shifted. All right, now it's your turn. Here's your five-step microplastic detox plan straight from the research. Number one, add gut-supporting probiotics daily. You got yogurt, unsweetened, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, miso, or a probiotic supplement with lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. Two, eat more soluble fiber. Oats, apples, chia or flax seeds, psyllium husks, start small, fiber binds, fiber clears, fiber wins. Number three, sip antioxidants like a boss. Drink green tea or matcha. Add turmeric, black pepper to meals. Snack on blueberries and dark chocolate. Yes, chocolate. Cook with extra virgin olive oil. Four, drink clean filtered water. A 2023 study showed that even tap water contains thousands of microplastic particles per liter. Use a multi-stage filter, not just carbon. Look for one rated to remove microplastics. And number five, move your body. Detox isn't just what you eat, it's how you sweat breathe and circulate. Regular exercise helps the lymphatic system flush out waste. Even just a brisk walk a day makes a difference. So here's the bottom line. We can't avoid all microplastics, but we can support our body's natural defenses so they don't stick around. Your gut is smarter than you think. Your cells are stronger than they seem. And science is finally giving us tools to fight back. So don't panic. Empower yourself. Start small. Add fiber. Drink green tea. Eat real food. Let your gut bacteria work their magic. And if you found this video helpful, inspiring, or slightly terrifying in a good way, hit that like button to help this message spread. Drop a comment below. What's one habit you're going to change this week to reduce microplastic exposure? Or do you think this research is the real deal or just hype? And hey, so subscribe so you don't miss my next video where I'll reveal shocking truth about plastic food containers and the one safe label that's actually lying to you. Thanks for watching Health Revival where we don't just talk health, we revive it. Health Revival out.